hello everyone welcome back to the dainty seamstress it's great to have you back today i am going to be starting a new project i'm going to be making a lolita dress lolita fashion is a alternative fashion style that originated and started in japan in the um i want to say it's harjuku um part of <laughs> japan correct me if i'm wrong okay Let's get that out the way. I have a jumper that I found in my closet after um, painstakingly trying to make a bodice pattern for my measurements. It didn't go very well. And so I went in my closet and I found a jumpsuit that has the exact top portion that I need. So I'm going to copy this onto some paper tweak it a little bit and I'm going to make this the top portion of the dress now this jumper has a side zipper and it has some shearing on the back and the shirt the shearing is made with elastic thread so it's stretchy and it helps to put some ease into the back portion of it so I don't think I really want to use the shearing I may just put a zipper down the middle of the back and it also has these cute little ruffles on the princess seams um probably won't be using those ruffles either but I'm going to start tracing this out and um I'll show you guys the fabric and stuff this dress is going to be used for another special project that's going to be a very good treat for you guys you'll get to see that a little bit later on in the maybe next coming month or so um what else would i like to say about this i've made lolita dresses before i also made some skirts if you go into my shorts recently i posted um some of the things that i made it is handmade and then i also would suggest that you look up lolita fashion if you don't know what it is it's very cute um it can be very modest and it's really adorable and that's why i like it mostly because of the modesty and because i know how to sew i can kind of create my own looks and um it's just a really good time so i'm going to get started on this and i will see you guys in a second so the first thing I'm doing here is going through and tracing the the different panels on the front and the back top portion of this jumper. It was very easy to do. I took my little curved ruler, my French curve, and smoothed out the curves and the lines and added some seam allowance. And just go kept going over it to make sure that things matched up well. Okay, so I've traced out all of the pieces and now I'm going to cut them and sew it together and test the fit. Here I am cutting out the patterns onto muslin and I'm going to also be um, pinning them and sewing them together to make sure that the pieces match up like they're supposed to because I don't want this to end up not fitting. So using muslin is a great way to create samples so you can do like a fitting and try it on and see what you need to fix before you actually start cutting your fashion fabric. Okay, so off camera, I um, tried on this piece. It was fitting kind of big in the bust area, so I did some adjustments. All right, so I'm going to cut out the 
pieces of the top so I can sew that together with the fashion fabric. I've already cut out the skirt portion off camera. And so I have this piece that's unfolding. Usually I'll, um, I have the patterns, but I ended up doing some um, adjustments to the muslin. So I'm just gonna use the muslin to cut out because this is the final thing. And I can always go back and do the pattern. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to line up my pieces where I want them to go. This is on the fold. Oh, I actually need to bring this up. So, bring it down a little bit. So I want to get the teapot in the picture in the center. Well, it's not exactly in the center, but there's a teapot on here and a spoon and some little cups but I have a feeling that the trim that I'm going to use is going to cover it up at the top so we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens so I'm matching up the notches so everything will be matching up really well once it's all cut out I know I was telling my sister we had a little tea party last night <laughs> before we went to bed we had a little bit of a tea party and I was telling her that I was glad that I'm um, back into sewing and you know making some things for myself because usually I'm always making stuff for other people and doing alterations and I love doing it I love being able to help people um, bring their ideas to life or to help them make something fit better and even when I make stuff for my dolls I, I really enjoy that but it's, cer it's a certain level of I don't want to say pride but just joy just joy from um, making something that I can actually wear especially when I'm in need of clothes because usually I just won't buy any because I feel like I have a lot of clothes but you know Sometimes things don't fit and all of that stuff, so. And I'm making stuff that's that I actually like. And the prints are nice and everything. And it's in my style. Like, I have some ideas for some stuff that I want to make. Oh, I can't wait to get started. <laughs> I can't wait to get started. And then I also, um, uh, I ordered some shoes for this shoot. And I ordered... Well, I didn't order it. I went to Burlington's and I found some other shoes to go with some of my other dresses that I'll be making. Uh, I'm just really excited about it, you guys. Anyways, so here's everything pinned down. I'm just going to start cutting it out. This is where I put the scissors. Okay, so... I'm going to turn it this way. And then two, like, I'm just using what I have. I haven't went out and bought anything extra for my sewing. This is actually something that I've wanted to do for a long time was kind of um, decrease. Decrease is a word or increase? I wanted to make my fabric... Um, fabric collection smaller <laughs> but it, that really didn't work too much because I ended up finding a big bucket of fabric which I'm grateful for I'm grateful for it because I'm going to be able to make some stuff but it is nice too to actually use what I have already and then that'll open up new possibilities for the newer fabrics
and this fabric is not a fabric i guess you would usually use to make a lolita dress it's um the is it duck canvas or something like that but it's really soft so i'm still gonna use it i think one time i did um make a lolita outfit i'll show you guys i think i still have the whole piece it's a two-piece actually it's a skirt and a um a vest oh wait i'm not supposed to be cutting it like that <laughs> but um i think that's the same fabric but it was a it's a little bit heavier just like i want to say is this medium weight i want to say this is medium weight this is not really heavy but i like it and i think it'll be great for when it does get a little cooler so let's see you know what i think i'm actually going to go ahead and put the lining fabric underneath this and cut it out all together this is just a reminder for you guys to be careful when you're starting new projects or if you know god puts you on a certain assignment and you are doing something that's purpose driven um people will try to get access to you they will try to distract you they will deceive and lie and pretend just to be near you and most of the time it's to distract you i recently had that um happened to me it didn't go through i overcame it but the person did come into my life pretending that they wanted to do some work with me when in all reality they were interested in me and they had other intentions and so i cut it off real quick and i thank god for the sermon i want you guys to be prayerful and exercise your discernment and pray for it if you don't have it so that you are not distracted from whatever God has put in front of you. So I've sewn the fashion fabric for the front of the bodice. And then I've sewn the lining together. Oh, that's upside down. I've sewn the lining together. So now I'm going to press this and join it together and start sewing around the top or do i want to sew around the how do i want to do this do i want to sew around the top or hmm i think i'm going to sew around the sides and the top Hello everyone, it is the next day. I worked a little bit through the night and I sewed the skirt pieces together and I made a seam for the zipper that will go down the back. And I also started um, sewing the gathering stitches at the waist of the skirt pieces so i'm going to be gathering that today and i'll also be making some straps for the dress and then putting in the zipper and um putting in the lining so i was going back and forth with myself trying to decide whether or not i wanted to put a line in and i think that i should because of the way that this fabric does i think it'll look nicer if it had a fabric well i mean as far as like the gathers and stuff and how it's sitting on the top of my petticoat it would look better if there was a lining underneath so let me try to move this out of the way this is the lining fabric it's cut for the skirt and then let me see if i can this up a little bit okay and then over here you can see I have the bodice up here 
So the bodice is done. It just needs to be, um, uh, I think the lining needs to be sewn down on the inside so it doesn't pop up over the front. But for the most part, it's ready. So I left it open here and it's sewn at the top for me to put the both this over and put the zipper in and then attach the skirts to the bottom and then yeah i'm sorry i'm going to attach the skirt to the bottom then flip in the zipper um seam allowance and in and put the zipper in okay so here i am gathering the skirt portion so i can be able to attach it and fit it properly to the bodice i also made a blouse for this dress but um that footage is inside of the shorts and i have some reels on instagram of that i believe um because of the time i didn't have enough time to fully record it the way i wanted to so if you'd like to see some of the blouse sewings you can go and look into the shorts okay everyone this is the finished dress so i'm gonna start from the top also i made this bow last minute it did not make it into the photo shoot in time but here it is <laughs> so here is the blouse i made it from a bed sheet very nice cotton it has a like a a sheen to it is really soft i interfaced the collar added this little ruffle trim with a little gold on the end um some buttons this was the first time that i actually did this little placket short placket with the buttons it wasn't hard at all so i did add puff sleeves it's a marie sleeve so there's some gathers on the wrist and also kind of near the elbow three quarter i added some pearl to the straps it's gathered at the waist the princess type bodice this is what I wanted to see and I'm glad I was able to get that in there and then this is the skirt you can see it's I did some hand stitching on this portion of the hem and then there's this little brooch with a spool of thread and a heart and a pair of um, shears. I thought that would have that went nicely with the look. And then here's the back. Here's the collar again. It's pinned up because the dress is my size and I'm not the size of my mannequin. So I had to pin it up on her to be able to show you. But the pearl does go all the way to the back. There's a all-purpose zipper on it it is showing and i'm okay with that um yeah that's the print this is a tea party print this is duck canvas so this will be great for me to wear during the winter months with my petticoat underneath and again this is the same dress and blouse that my doll has on so that video um should be up by now i think and so you'll be able to see the comparison. This could actually go here too, and that would be pretty cute. But I didn't have enough fabric, so I only made the head piece. But, you know, it could go there. But yes, you guys, this is the dress. And then I'll do a video of me in the dress with my shoes and stuff and um, holding the doll. But if you like, there are photos from the photo shoot that will be up in the community tab portion where I post. And you can take a look at that. And then in those posts, it also talks about, I talk about um, the theme of the shoot and everything. So there's the dress. It was a lot of work in a short period of time. I think I asked for two weeks and I got it done in about a week and a half. So this is how it came out and I'm pleased with it.
I can't wait to wear it outside. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to be wearing it to, but I'm going to find a reason. <laughs> I'm going to find a reason to wear this and also, oh, also um, bring my Blythe with me. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed viewing this little masterpiece. Um, it was a lot of fun. And again, I thank my professor for thinking of me. She does photography as well as teaching. Um, I believe she teaches ready to wear construction. Um, that's what I remember her teaching. And she teaches it at Houston Community College. I do recommend if you want to learn to sew and you're in Houston, that's a really good school to go to. But yeah, you guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this outfit. And yeah, let's just chat. I'm really excited to be able to show it to you. It was a lot of fun. So again, thank you for joining me. You can comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful evening and God bless.